So, you know, when we talk about um, sort of the the early days of electricity, there are a few names that tend to stand out. So George Westinghouse is one of them, Nikola Tesla, um, and then, of course, Thomas Edison. And all of these guys had a very important role to play. So Edison makes light more affordable uh, with his incandescent bulb and his DC system. So that's direct current. And the way that worked was you had a power plant um, that was a central station. So before it used to be like one power plant per building, which was really, really pricey. Only like luxury hotels and stuff could afford that um, because gas and other forms of uh, domestic power were just way cheaper. So Edison realized that if you had the direct current central station, you could use one power station to power a bunch of different things, Um, right? So street lamps, uh, buildings, stuff like that, all at the same time. The problem was the DC system, direct current, uh, as the lines got longer, it got weaker and weaker and weaker as a current, which meant that he was very geographically constrained. You'd have to outlay a ton of capital to build a bunch of different power stations to serve stuff that is relatively close to each other. I think the farthest out you could do was probably a mile. And then it was really hard to manage that system. So it's expensive, hard to manage. You know, If only there was a way to send power farther, more powerfully, uh, so that you could pack more people into the area around a bigger power plant. In other words, achieve bigger economies of scale. 